Hello, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Bolat, board certified physician in cardiology, interventional cardiology, and internal medicine. I'm here to help you with all the information you need for your heart health and informing you about all the latest treatments in cardiology. If you are new to this channel, then definitely consider subscribing by hitting the button below and switch on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos as I post them. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, also known as the silent killer, occurs when your blood pressure is too high. In the initial stages, high blood pressure would not have symptoms to alert the individual, but continues to cause significant permanent damage to the vital organs that eventually might lead to death if untreated, and hence the term the silent killer. When the heart beats, the pressure created pushes blood through a network of blood vessels. This pressure has two components. The first component, the systolic pressure, occurs as blood pumps out of the heart during its contraction. The second component, the diastolic pressure, occurs as the heart relaxes in between its beats. In this demonstration, the systolic blood pressure is labeled in the blood pressure machine as SYS and the diastolic blood pressure is labeled as DIA. Globally, the prevalence of hypertension is high and it is the most common reason for the doctor's clinic and hospital visits. The normal blood pressure is less than 120 mm of mercury in the upper reading systolic blood pressure and less than 80 mm of mercury in the lower reading diastolic blood pressure, as defined by the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association. There are two stages of hypertension. Stage 1, systolic 130 to 139 mm of mercury or diastolic 80 to 89 mm of mercury. Stage 2, systolic at least 140 mm of mercury or diastolic at least 90 mm of mercury. Clinically, patients who are taking medications for high blood pressure are usually defined as having hypertension, specifically treated hypertension, regardless of their observed blood pressure reading. Internationally, there are differences in the definition of hypertension. The European Society of Cardiology and the International Society of Hypertension Define high blood pressure as a systolic pressure of more than 140 mm of mercury or diastolic pressure of more than 90 mm of mercury. For the purpose of this presentation, I'll be using the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association definition of hypertension, which is stricter, meaning a blood pressure of more than 130 over 80 mm of mercury, defining hypertension. Patients are instructed to use a validated automated device that measures the blood pressure in the brachial artery, the upper arm, and to perform measurements in a quiet room after five minutes of rest in the seated position, with the back and arm supported and legs uncrossed. At least 12 to 14 measurements should be obtained, with both morning and evening measurements taken over a period of one week for evaluating whether an individual suffers from blood pressure or not. There are two main types of hypertension. Primary hypertension in which no specific reason is found for the elevated blood pressure. Risk factors associated with this type of hypertension include age. Advancing age is associated with increased blood pressure, particularly systolic blood pressure. Overweight is a major risk factor for hypertension and are also determinants of the rise in blood pressure. Family history. Hypertension is about twice as common in subjects who have one or two hypertensive parents. Race. Hypertension tends to be more common and more severe, occurs early in life, and be associated with greater target organ damage in patients of African descent rather than Caucasians. High sodium diet, excess sodium intake, more than three grams per day, increases the risk of hypertension. Excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol intake is associated with the development of hypertension. Physical inactivity increases the risk of hypertension and exercise is an effective means of lowering blood pressure. 
Secondary hypertension, this is a category of high blood pressure related to medical conditions. This category includes prescription or over-the-counter medications, such as oral contraceptives, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory painkillers, for example, ibuprofen, decongestant medications, steroid medications, antidepressant medications, and others. Kidney disease and vascular disease of the kidneys. Endocrine disease. Obstructive sleep apnea and other diseases. As mentioned earlier in this presentation, hypertension is associated with significant complications leading to death if it is not detected and treated early. These complications are shown in the following figure. And they include heart attacks, high blood pressure damages the coronary arteries and eventually leads to blocked arteries leading to heart attacks. Heart failure. High blood pressure can cause the heart to enlarge and fail to supply blood to the body. Stroke. High blood pressure can cause the blood vessels in the brain to burst or clot, leading to heart attacks and disability. Loss of vision. High blood pressure can damage the arteries of the eyes, leading to loss of vision. Kidney failure. High blood pressure can damage the arteries of the kidneys, leading to kidney failure, necessitating dialysis or kidney transplantation. Sexual dysfunction, leading to erectile dysfunction in men and loss of libido in women. I will talk more about high blood pressure and how it is treated in other videos, as the topic is large and deserves more attention. If you have any question about what I presented to you today, or any cardiology question in general, then subscribe to my channel and share your question in the comment section below and I will reply to you. If you have a question that you would not like to share in public, then subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Dr. Bolad, and then send me a private Twitter direct message and I will reply to you. Please like and share this video with family and friends. This is Dr. Bolad helping you with your heart health. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.